Hello. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome back to Frugal Outdoors and myself, Dylan. And I haven't been out fishing for two weeks. I've been on holiday, been to Corfu with all the kids and, and the missus and all the family. Absolutely buzzing. Great time. Super, super loads of bream. Man, there was like three, four pound gilt head bream just swimming around our feet. If only I could get some of those. But we're out tonight to have a go. We're not fishing for two weeks. I'm absolutely chomping at the bit. So, fishing the pier. I haven't fished the pier since the 2nd of January and I didn't film it. I was just out having a jolly with mates and wishing each other a new year. So, gonna give it a go. I've got three rods, so I'm gonna fish basically for some bream. See if there's any hounds about. And when it comes dark, I've got some squid jigs and I'm gonna drop some jigs over the side. I've only ever done that once before, for about an hour, and got bored very quickly. But as soon as I'm fishing at the same time, it should be all right. Nick's down the end of the pier already. Doesn't look like there's anyone else down there. I'm sure we'll get a bit busier later. About an hour and a half of ebb, maybe two hours, and then it's gonna be pushing up. So I'll probably fish till maybe 11, 12. See how we get on, really. I'm nearly at the end. There. It's not a bad size pier, really. Certainly saves on the cast, so I just need to dink it over the side. I'll get set up in a bit, and then I will bring you back. But I hope you're all doing okay. I'm absolutely buzzing. Got a little bit of a tan, my hair's gone a bit blonder, but I need a haircut, so let's get fishing. All right, I'll try and do this ever so quick, because I'm absolutely chomping to get a bait in the water. So I'm using my, the two Daiwas, two uh, Shimano Altegras, uh, same braid, still haven't topped up the, the braid at all still with the same leaders as everything that's been locked away and dusted off and salty and crusty for the last two weeks um, and I'm fishing to begin with just two little scratching rigs no swivels just knots there we go uh, nice bit of squid nice bit of squid size two hooks six ounce grippers exactly the same on both sides apart from this one's just got a couple of beads like that and hopefully that's gonna pick us up a bream but the tides just start to ease off a little bit, so I want to get these out and relax and get another couple of rigs ready, or at least one rig ready anyway. Let's get these in. Uh, yeah, as you can see, <laughs> I only had my one rod out the front for about two minutes before it came right around at 90 degrees. So the tide is pretty raging. It looked like it was at the bottom, but it really wasn't. Um, so I've got both of them just out the side at the moment until it eases off a little bit, and then I'll stick them off the end again. But I've just got a little knock then on the left-hand side. So with any luck, get a nice early fish. Especially while it's daylight. Oh, that's a better one. Just about to bring that in then. Okay, Gonna bring that in then and change it, because it had one that had the bites on it, just had another bite. Yeah, getting a few little knocks, just trying to zoom in a little bit. Yeah, so I'm getting a few little knocks still on that left-hand rod. I've just baited up another rig. Exactly the same rig, but I was going to change it, but I'm going to leave it a little bit again because it just had another, like I say, another decent knock. So, oh, I'd really like to get a bream. I did a video up here before 
and I hooked the bottom, but I didn't hook the bottom, but I snagged my line on the bottom of the ferry that came past. Fortunately, I could grab the knife, so when that ferry left, I grabbed my knife just ready because I am in the ferry channel. There's a bit of a channel there, it's much deeper, which is where the sort of bream hold out. So at the moment, I'm still sort of casting both of them slightly to well. That one I did cast to the front now, it's on my tripod but it's still hooping around to the left because the tide's still going out that way. I think we've still got another hour or so of it of it ebbing. Hopefully we'll get to the bottom of the tide, ease off a bit, and then when it floods it'll be much easier fishing. But apart from those little knocks, I haven't had another bite yet. Changed both, both rigs have been changed. But again, just little breamy rigs with a little tiny bit of squid on there. So Nick's just started to get a, uh, a bream rig, uh, a bass rig ready. Sorry, on his bass rod. So we're, gonna, we're both going to use them for uh, squidding later. But in the meantime, I'm going to copy him basically. So we've got a running ledger. It's locked in. I've got a five ounce plain lead that I've smashed out with a hammer, so it makes it a lot flatter. So it hopefully will stop it from moving quite so much in the tide because the tide is starting to ease up. And then on the end, it's got some bees. I don't know if I really need the beads and it might be a hindrance, I don't really know. Uh, and that's got a 5-0 five five wide gape. There we go. Like a uh, big mouth extra. And that's a 3 big mouth extra for the panel. I've got a whopping great big squid. So it's got a massive squid head basically with the tentacles all flowing so I'm going to chuck it out. There we go. Look at that. Get that in. There we go. Next bait to go out. I've got that squid head literally just down the side. I've got a couple of little strips of squid out for a bream. A couple of black lug wrapped up with a bit of squid. Lob that out.
Well, it's quick neat. Did a little bit of a one on each rod there. That was an eel which I thought was a bream, so that can go back in. But, but I did get a bream. Really dark one, look at that. Beauty. 3-0 that was, that was on that squid and uh, squid and black lug on a pulley panel with a 3-0 wide mouth. Beauty. Super chuffed. Thank you. Yeah, chuffed with that. Right, we're off the end of the pier again now. So let's move that around a bit. There we go. Yeah, so straight off the end. I'll get a torch on the tips or something at some point so you can see them a bit better. But yeah, two fish. Two species, but target chief, bream. There we go. Nice, really silvery one this time. That's another one for the cool box. Bang in. There we go, gutted. Literally just dropped one then on the way in. So I've got two on the side now. And then just one came off on the way in. It's a pretty decent fish as well, but gonna keep targeting the bream. Hopefully I can get some more bream. And, uh, and then yeah, just see what happens after that then. Once it gets dark, I'll start targeting someone else. Maybe try and get a smooth hand or something like that. For 29 and I find myself wondering What did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward Never turn back again It's kind of funny that the more we pass time the more we need to set the rewind And our team was the year I had to leave you But now I'm seeing all the signs uh, It's like the ghost on that I can't believe it's true I'm just what? as surprised as you Two pound club. Easy. See you Whoa. all day long, mate. Woo! Ooh, mate. Probably a I don't think I've ever seen a bream that big. Told you, mate. Size two hooks. <laughs> I've had them over two and a half pound. They haven't looked like that, mate. That's a three pound Woo! Oh, I'm... Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. So I think I've just hit my PB bream, for sure. Look at that. It's bigger than my head. That is a stonking bream. My heart is pounding. Look at that, mate. That's a good one. <laughs> I have never seen a bream that big. No, you're all right, mate. You're all right. That's a 
Oh, I've got Nick's gonna grab his scales in a minute. He's he had a bit of a run as well, so we'll wait and we'll weigh that puppy. That is a beauty. Oh, mate, it's two two eleven. No, never. Yeah, I don't even think it will show up because I haven't got a light on it. Let's try it. No. Damn it. Oh, here we go. Nice, mate. Thank you. There we go. Yeah. Oh, what's it? Oh, hang on. There we go. Two ten and a half. Two ten and a half. I'm well in the two pound club. Come on, baby. Hee hee hee. Two pound ten dream. Oh, mate. I am stoked. There we go, I've got to do one more show of that. Two pound, what did it come out? Two eleven, two ten, two ten and a half. <laughs> Over two and a half pound anyway. Monster of a bream. How do we how do we get a good good thumbnail of that? <laughs> oh banging. Snake charmer, right? Another little conga, but ooh, let's get let's get this one back in quick. So two little eels still at the moment. Two little eels, three bream, but one of them's a donkey bream, which I am so chuffed about. Tide's really pushing in now, so it's it's well on the flood. There are quite big tides at the moment. We must have some cloud cover because the moon's not on show but it's racing left to right at the moment. I've had to turn my drag up quite a bit cause, to stop it from pulling line. Um, but yeah, I've had a little pull, possibly a pull on the bass rod, but you can hear the bass jumping on the pit around the pier. What's that, scad? Damn it, just got snagged and snapped. But I knew I got to replace the uh, the braid anyway. It's probably a bit weak to be honest. But there's a, uh, the old bit of pier is right in front of me. I'm casting over it. And because the tide was running, I was dropping it in a little bit closer and I think I've just gone a bit too close and dropped it straight in there. Damn. There we are. Just quickly show you this one that's gonna go out. I'm not, I don't even think I'm going to bother using the squid jigs to be honest. It's like, I don't know, <laughs> seems like hard work. And the bass rod, I can just chuck out on the side. That's basically got four medium sand eels wrapped together. I'm just going to chuck it about five feet out from the pier. God, that wind's really changed direction. It's proper, like, southerly, maybe even southwesterly now. And it was easterly when we started. Nick's just had a nice uh, nice hound. What was that, maybe three, four pound? Yeah. Gotta be, something like that, isn't it? Um, and when, that's what I'm trying to get, really. Um, I've got both rods now. I've got black lug, two black lug bound together. I'll show you how I do it in a minute. Two black lug bound onto a needle and then a piece of squid down the side of it. It's not a huge bait, but it's a decent sized bait. It's got a panel in it. Weed seems to have eased off a little bit. It came through on that first run of the tide. But it's really mild still. It's got to be about 17 degrees still at least. But yeah, I haven't had anything since that little eel. 
Um, and then, yeah, Nick just had that hound, so it's been pretty productive, to be honest. Take the opportunity quick. We're gonna have a few little knocks on the uh, bass rod, but I haven't had a bite on the other two yet. So, what I've got, I've got two frozen blacks, just like that on the end, with baiting needle. Like I say, this is, I'm sure there's many ways to do this, and this is just one. Bind it on, but only to half and then let those worms drop back down like that bind them up so you've got a bait about four inches and already it's quite a nice bait and I'll just grab a piece of squid bind that up the side there we go Piece of squid, obviously the same length, maybe half an inch thick, not massive. Getting a bit of an extreme close up, aren't you? Sorry. I've got it zoomed in so you can see the rods better. There you go. Yeah. Lovely bait. Nice and streamlined. Bang. Tripod is now a little bit shorter, as you'll see from the footage you went over. Zoom now doesn't work extraordinarily well. Yeah, gutted. Uh, yes, the wind has really got up, so I'll keep trying to get some footage anyway. Hopefully, we'll get another fish or two. I just can't get a, a rod tip, the, a torch on the tip lights at the moment, just because the wind is too strong. Hopefully we get to another fish. Name it. Right. Right, well we're good. Sorted the camera out. Tied it to a pole. It's gone over twice now. Both times it's landed on the lens. It's punched the lens in. So I think I've fixed it by pulling it really hard. Not ideal, but we're filming, it's a new position, changing it up a bit. I'm gonna do another bait for the bass rod. It has some really nice knocks on it. And I don't think there can be a whole bunch left on there. I'm literally just binding four of those sand eels, taking the heads off, taking the tails off, bind them on, just chucking it out about 10 feet out, that's it. Five, 10 feet, not a lot at all. But yeah, it's super windy. There we go. So it's not a huge bait again. I'm not really a fan of massive, massive baits, but I'm going to chuck that down the side. Yeah, nightmare. I literally just bought that tripod <laughs> about three, three or four weeks ago. I think I've only taken it out once. Never mind. Come on, fish. Oh, 
was he just maybe? Yeah, let's what stick there. Oh, where could he might be? Ooh, tight. <laughs> Buzzing. Be eating well in the next couple of days, that's for sure. Oh, come here, buddy. There we go. God, got, got him just. There we go. 44 centimetres, so he's in, and I'll be taking it. Again, little size two hook. I just chucked it out there for a bit of difference, really. Just change it up a little bit. Chuck the two hook flapper back out. But there we go. Just in. Two centimetres, but I'll take it. There we go, another, uh, so we've had a bass, a bass, three bream, and I think about three strap congas now. So yeah, very productive. Like so I haven't fished the pier since the 2nd of January. To be honest, it's, I don't mind fishing the pier, but it's not something that really appeals to me. I don't get excited about it. I much prefer fishing on a beach, a shingle beach or a sandy beach no lights around apart from obviously all the bloody camera stuff but I do much prefer beach fishing but I've got some bream and I'm super happy about that I've got some bream and some bass that I can take home so yeah I'm bloody buzzing ah right well we're packing up now I've got one rod left in I'm gonna pack that up in a second but I'm really chuffed tonight but I came out with the intention of getting some bream Nick knew that I wanted some bream, so he suggested here, and he was bang on. And I've had my PB bream, and my first bream over two pound, but smashed the two pound, two pound ten. So yeah, buzzing. Little bass as well, which is nice in size, so that's in the box as well. So I've got three breams to take home, and a bass. So I'm super, super chuffed. A few congas. Nick's just had a nice, decent sized pout as well. It's smooth out. I think he had a, a couple of bream as well, so yeah. so. All in all, a very, very nice evening. But the wind has massively picked up. I've bust my tripod. I think I might have bust my camera with the zoom. But other than that, the fishing was really good. So we're gonna pack up. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and push the thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Any comments, obviously, just leave a comment. I always reply. And uh, until the next one, please take care, stay safe, and maybe I'll see you out there. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.